All right. Here we are. We're in the forest. And I've pretty much been kicking the ever-loving shit out of this game. I don't even know what day I'm at. Let's uh, let you guys know how my stats are going right now. 167 days. I am completely insane. Uh, I got decent strength and athleticism and 205 pounds. Need some food, some hydration. I have no armor. I got uh, rabbit boots on. Been through pretty much everything. Got all kinds of crap. I don't want the gun. It's really just way too slow. And uh, we have more than enough weapons to take care of anything that comes our way. So we can rock and roll a little bit. And uh, I'll gather some sticks. A little rabbit there. Here comes my friends, but I'm not too worried about them. I've never really uh, did too much damage to them. They're like right in between the uh, passive and aggressive mode. And I'm just here, like, there's always tons of sticks here. Find yourself a good spot. Honestly, stick to the plane. You get lucky if you're by Goose Lake. Because that's got a nice cliff side. You can kind of prevent yourself from getting flanked. But, uh... I'm out here right now, and I built a replica of my actual house, minus the driveway. My driveway is now a, a ramp into a pond, <laughs> so pretty silly, but there's my garage, if I can get in there, there we go, some extra skins and stuff. Laundry room. Give myself a catapult so I can store some skulls and extra stuff. And basement, fireplace, a little bathroom here, some water, some chair, the throne. The front door. It's really hard to build that. That was a couple days' work right there. Try and get the door in between levels and have it function properly. Here's a little bit of an inception for you. The TV is way smaller than the TV I'm looking at, but this is exactly what I'm doing in my actual house. With my uh, DVD rack, I mean uh, giant effigy. I'm going to put some rabbit furs on this chair. There's my cat. Hi, Austin. Uh, more shelves for my toys. You know. Lights here and there. This is my sliding door, so, you know, it's kind of custom with the way the logs are going to be when I get that all in. Kitchen sink. And I got my artifact kicking so I don't get bothered right now. You know, you can set that in a window. And, you know, that's the one thing I like about this. I can bring a rabbit up here and kill it right here on the table, skin it, put it on the shelf while we're at it. We can eat it directly if you hold down the X button. You don't have to pick this stuff up. Uh, this you might have to, yeah, no. Uh, you can't, shouldn't have even picked that up because I'm full, isn't it? But that doesn't work. You can't hold X, but on your racks you can hold X. See, I built multiple. You should always build your base floor. All blueprints, all at once. Set all your blueprints up before you start building. You can change things and build things inside of things. You know, and as you get going, you can do things like this. Basically, once a guy gets strung up, he can't get knocked down. They'll have to get through this whole thing in order to get through that. By that time, they get grabbed by another one. What else we got? They always attack these walls, so I had to build some uh, perimeter defenses. And, uh, oh yeah. This right here is a great weapon. You want to gather leaves, you want to gather sticks, especially if you're starting right off at the beginning. Just get one stick and use this on everything. You can get leaves like crazy. It helps build your strength. Very important. And when gathering sticks, well, these are all leaves. it takes a couple hits. And with each hit, you gather leaves. And you need leaves. Good luck catching a deer with that. Use your spear for deer and for mutants. Get yourself spear bags. 
Just basically craft every item. You should go through the entire list. All the things you can build with a stick. So I pretty much got them all. Weak spears. That's how you get all your weak spears quickly. Once you get a bag, obviously. Oh, yeah. Look at this stuff. You always want this filled with water. Check out my pond right out front. You know, it's good and important. But I have turtle shells. And then over here, we got a little resort. This is actually where I first started. That's where I got my flag marker. That's the plane. I'll show you guys around. Oh. I don't know what I caught. But must be uh, spamming the button too much. Uh, here's your rabbit traps. Put them in the water. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these things in action, but usually you find the right spot where they spawn. There's one. Let's try the other one. I think it caught. Usually it's two in a row, just like that. Every time I walk over here, I can get two fish. That's it costs two sticks. Which they had right for them. It's just the way the game is meant to be. Find yourself some water. So wherever the fish appear, that's where you lay your, your trap. And you, you know, build your trap out of your book. And instead of on land, you put it in the water, it becomes a fish trap. And you want it sticking out of the water a little bit. See how they're sticking out of the water? Something like that. We always want them to spawn. When you see them spawn, like I could put one right here, but it'd probably get too deep. You don't want them all the way underwater. Oh, rabbit. Get out of here, rabbit. There's raccoon, there's deer. Everything's right in this area. Raccoons only spawn like early in the morning. Basically right when the sun is coming up. Oh, I'm using this stupid thing. See, my upgrades have been appearing and disappearing. Like, it's supposed to have glass. I think it's because I had feathers on it, but then I burned it. So that might have taken them all away. So don't do that. Don't burn it. Save the burning for the stick. Upgrade your stick. And, uh, yeah, rock and roll, man. big bonfire out here when I'm partying. My bone collector. I've been using my bones lately. I've just been building everything. That's really it. You just gotta learn how to stock everything and have all your blueprints out. And once you build the first floor, then you lay all the blueprints out for the second floor. Figure out a way to get your logs up there. If you even mess with that kind of stuff. I guess I really didn't show you all this yet. I didn't even show you the other side of the pond. Now you can see it better, rather than dark. It's daytime. Got a little resort down there. Uh, I don't use docks. I don't like using platforms too much. You did see a couple of them over there. But, uh, looks like we got trouble. What's going on, guy? You alright? <laughs> I haven't really been messing with this too much, but as you can tell, they've all been set off because they all work. I tried putting them in a circle, and then I tried putting another circle around them. You're a nuisance, buddy. Watch out. You better run. Sensitivities. No, oh, it's alright. I would prefer it to be super slow, but that's just me. Same thing when, like, rotating your objects. Got another little lookout point over this camp over here. Effigies do nothing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The effigies are cool looking. They're great decoration. But uh, they don't prevent... You can set them on fire and they fall apart. So that doesn't make any sense. There's no reason why you'd want to destroy your stuff. And seeing as setting them on fire doesn't do anything, there's no reason to set them on fire. I want that kind of stuff. I want to be able to wear my effigies. See, watch. These guys, like... They're not that aggressive. Of course, he attacks me right away, but... If you don't attack them, they don't attack you. 
it's pretty much, you know, like, you can block. And you just, like, do whatever you want. Bring your buddy. Look. He'll stand around, too. He'll come and attack. I block a little bit. And I go about my business. And then, really, you just take off. You don't have to fight cannibals. You don't even really have to fight mutants. Even in the caves, you can run around those guys. I've beaten this game in about an hour. Uh, the most trouble I had was with the uh, final boss. I don't know if uh, spoilers or not, but... It's got really good reach. And other than that... If it kills you, it just started me off in the hallway. And I could walk right back in that room and fight it again. And it'll kill me again. And I go back in the hallway. And whatever. It's, it's not that difficult. Once you figure it out, once you make it there. And to be quite honestly, if you got skills, you don't even need the climbing axe. All you need is the rebreather and the key card. Those are in uh, two separate caves. So explore the caves, find your stuff. As you can tell, uh, this is, is was the plane. You don't really need a platform. I just did it to try and prevent them from getting in, and I built a zip line. And it's always good to know where the plane is because you got all your foods. Kitty cat. It's always good to know where the plane is because you got your food and your alcohol and everything respawns. And not much soda. I've just been using water. Medicine is that's oh you can't go anywhere without medicine. Same thing. You can build all your plants and stuff. So you need that pouch. Use that pouch. You just equip it when you're picking berries and all that stuff. These guys followed me over here just to check it out. Oh, they brought their fire friend. He's dangerous. He's the only one you don't want around. You can't let him hang out. They show up after time. It has nothing to do with aggression. It's just after a certain amount of time, they show up. Yeah, now you're mad because I hurt your friend, but I'm not going to fight you. I just want your friend. So I just want his head. Because this game's disturbing. Uh, covered in blood. Oh, well. Uh, platforms and stuff. They're decent, but not against mutants. You do not want to hide in a tree platform against a mutant. Cannibals are no big deal. So early on in game, these are sweet. That's why I built this. Boop. There I am. And yeah, he didn't like how much fun I was having. Oh, I can set this trap back up. They always run around and so forth. So, they get caught up in these trees and another effigy. Like I said, obviously it doesn't do too much because mutants walk through here all the time. These flaming candles do much better with the lighting. You see this in the dark. This is creepy as hell because it's lit up with these skull candles and they're forever. So, don't ever burn your effigies. It's kind of like a peacock, don't you think? Anyway, yeah, these two uh, happy birthday traps, they're like sandwich in. It's kind of fun. It's not as effective as I'd like it to be, but it's cool looking. What else do I got? These falling tree traps are pretty cool. This is pretty much like on their path. They always come through here. So they come this way. I think there's a camp right down there. Yeah, that's where that I built that tower. They go through here. And I built effigies everywhere. You light them up like that. It's just they don't they don't keep anybody away. So yeah, now I'm back to another part. This is like the resort end. This is like my first build. This uh, fire trap's kind of neat, but it glitches, so I can burn this whole thing and they'll still be here, and they can't be burnt again. So I. I don't know. These things are really hard to place. Like, you can't put them on a table. You can put them on a couple things, but they always kind of, like, clip in and out. Yeah, there's uh, that. And there. A little reminisce. I wish I could take these pictures off and put them back, because I set a couple of them up, and they're, like, inside of something, and then it got destroyed. Like, you can't put them on a rock wall because they clip in and out. You can only see half of the picture. It's not really sticking through. And the uh, fireplace is really sweet, but I don't know. It got destroyed. 
I took a bunch of the pictures away and I can't go get them again. You know, you can take them down and pick them back up. We'll zip line across the lake and go over to the gazebo. It's my little tribute to Goro. <laughs> That's my chair that I can sit up here. Thanks to my uh, the butcher's block. Can't pick that up because I got I went and got another one. Yeah, I'll just show you. Take your rabbit, give him a squeeze with the trigger. Now he's on the table. Yeah, skin him on the table. And take him over here. Take him over here. Oh, I don't want that head up there. I'll keep that. But yeah, neat. I think I got a couple more over here. So. Well, look at that. You're lucky. And I got some more bird cages down here somewhere. Bird cages. Rabbit cages. I gotta get them to multiply. Yeah, these sap things fill up quick. So, if you ever need a sap. <laughs> Come on, buddy. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's what I thought. Bird houses will get your feathers. Lots of feathers. It only takes a couple of days for them to fill up, if that, so build a couple of those. Feathers will make you arrows, but you're really in need of your My Goose Lake. Get out of here, weirdo. Uh, what is there? The, the crew. I guess they call it the camera crew or something. Out in these woods you'll find tents. Boom. Nice little area. Use your markers. Of course, decorate them. It's always fun. See, there's squirrel and deer around here. But anyway, inside these yellow, boom, you got arrows. And I can't carry any more because I got a hundred of them. Not a hundred of them, but you know what I mean. Build yourself a quiver, get your arrows, combine them. Flaming arrows are good. Remember to do one at a time. Create them, put them back. Do not do this. It doesn't work. It'll put three on one and you won't get them all back. It'll just be one. So don't do that. Uh, get yourself a warm suit. Oh, these got spoiled. Wasn't paying attention. Uh, these you can pick up from the cannibals. This you can pick up from a late game cannibal. Uh, yeah, flashlight. Both. This is just as good at close range as this. This just adds some distance to it, but if you're really looking for distance, go and find yourself a crossbow. You're going to need that to do it. Uh, these boots are stealth and warmth, so keep those on at all times. Uh, camcorder tapes, I think I got one more that's missing, and it's probably the one you can only get one time. Uh, yeah. If you want to know some story and some lore, I can tell you all about it pretty much gone through all the notes and all that stuff, but I'm not into some, watch this. Uh, you think I scared him? Or, uh, I think the thunder scared him. He doesn't know I'm here because I got these boots on. Come here, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know why I'm screwing around. Please just quickly silence him from a dis- Oh, there's two of them. Watch this. Put your finger right on him. Woo! Miss. I guess this is a judge in accuracy right here. He's trying to throw between two trees. Boop, got one. A little lower. Yeah, the if you're aiming up and down, good luck. This ain't really working. Look out. You and your friends here. I want my spear. Be sure to get all your uh, weapons back. That's really important. Like you can go into battle with a mutant with one spear, but it's a lot easier to use more than one. And a lot of people, certain people, I should say, that make videos on this game do not know how to fight a mutant. I don't have my artifact on me, so there's no reason why they shouldn't be around here. But whatever. Mutants are easy. They look scary. Oh, yeah. And if you don't know what you're getting into, they will kill you. But each mutant 
has a distinct fighting pattern. There's my dock, which is not a dock. Same thing with custom floors and platforms and all that stuff. Uh, it's much easier making all of that with custom ladders. They're not ladders. Custom stairs. You know what I mean? That's all custom stair work right there. Go around. This is another thing too, if you uh, get the crossbow, there's a few spots where there's bolts. And one of them just happens to be right here. Interesting, huh? So you get a free ammo. Oh. Free ammo from a very rare item. Right here at uh, Goose Lake. Yes, I want that one. Thank you. So, uh, yeah. Rock and roll, right? Oh, my gazebo. I didn't even get up in there. This is going to hurt. You don't ever want to jump coming off of those things unless you're landing in water. Remote here. Surprised I'm not cold yet. I don't have much health either. That's awesome. I don't need it. I'm just showing off at this point. I haven't really been in multiplayer. I did just to get the trophies. That's pretty much where I'm at in trophy hunting. I only got like one or two more to go. I got a duck to get under here. Basically had to damage it to get through there. And that's when I decided that these ladders are the way to, the stairs are the way to go. This is stairs right here for the plank. Custom stairs. Sit. 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 Now there's an armor rack. Just, you know. Crafting everything I can craft because I've already saved a kid and I've got nothing else to do. Basically what you want to do, you can get both endings and you can keep all the stuff you started with obviously reload your game after you've beaten after you, you save the kid save the kid and then you know reload your game and go back and do the alternate ending which is uh, the only spoiler I'll give you right now is shut it down shut it all down man and then you can come back here and you can live out your days and like I said, I've been here for 168 days. I'm in pain. I'm completely insane. And I saved that kid a long time ago, man. So, yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to end this one with a little fight. There we go, get in trouble. We're going to get the artifacts and draw them in. I'll show you how easy it is to fight a mutant with little uh, little weaponry. Using basic weaponry. How about that? Another thing too about these ponds. They usually have a weak spear laying around so you don't have to craft them all the time. This isn't exactly how my front porch works, but uh, front porch? How my front porch works. But it keeps out the uh, the goobers, the geeks, the nerds. Alright. Should I bring them right to my house? No, I don't really have the weaponry of the traps. I don't really like going out in the middle of nowhere. Cause you can mess with them, you can hide from them. You got the uh, red armor. You can get some stealth armor on them, and uh, it's pretty cool. This game's a lot of fun. We'll hide behind a rock, and we'll wait. Get inside some bushes. Where are they going? There they go. Start dropping them. <sighs> so 
See, even now. Yeah, they do get a Oh, that's hit. One hit. Simple as that. That's the way to do it.